Hello, and welcome to Heroes Explain. I am Bubs, and I'll be doing today's video by myself. So, I'm going to be not doing the Kingdoms thing because I kind of forgot where I left off, and I don't want to continue it anymore because I want to do something that I wanted to do for a while now. So, I'm going to be talking about one of my characters who's called Robert Arthur who has the nickname Dementio and I'm gonna be pretty much doing every now and then stories about his like his tales and whatever and background and whatever so I'm today's video I'm gonna be trying to explain as much as I can possibly while keeping this story about him and then next video I'll go in depth on his backstory so Dem Robert Arthur is the son of Felix Arthur, who is pretty much from my dimension, during, is like one of the most intelligent people. He's a super scientist, whatever. His whole field of expertise is teleportation and the bending of space and wormholes and stuff like that. So, yeah. His father just wanted to just be the first man alive to teleport or open a portal to bend reality, whatever. Bend two spaces of a point together so you could just walk through and pretty much teleportation, whatever. I'll just, yeah. So there's teleportation, which I'm just going to leave as teleportation, where your atoms break apart, you move the speed of light, and then it reforms, and boom, you're in a different location. Then there's, I'm just going to classify this as portal teleportation, portaltation, whatever you want to call it. It's like um, from the game Portal. You know how you can place the blue one, and then an orange one, and then you can walk through. It's like that. So I'm referring to portal teleportation as just portal or portal teleportation or just whatever you get the idea hopefully you guys know what portal is and if not you can look it up and figure out the whatever so teleportation is the one where you break apart move your arms really fast and then reassemble it like nightcrawler and pretty much your stereotypical teleportation one but robert has the portal teleportation so you can fold two spaces close together and whatever the science is behind it I'm not going to continue to explain piece of paper and whatever pen anyway so Robert was born with this power of portal teleportation so it didn't manifest his powers didn't manifest until he was six years old so when he was six he was able to open a portal the size of a tennis ball and place it one spot and then another so how his ability works is he has to place it on the surface of an object and depending on how big the object is is how big the portal can get so if you place it on a tennis ball then the portal can only get as big as that tennis ball it can't go any bigger if you place it on a wall then you can obviously go as big as the wall is anyways that explaining is over. So he at first only had the ability to just bend it to areas that are within his sight and no farther than 10 yards. Not 10 yards, it was how many? Uh, uh, no, I think it was 10 yards. Yeah, so he, they could no longer, they couldn't be as far as 10 yards. Then, later, when he turned seven, he could make the portals, the gates, or whatever you want to call them, um, as big as pretty much um, four foot three ovals on the walls, and it would be as far as his sight. He would have to actually, yeah, so that's when he was age seven. So it greatly increased all this time as he's living, whatever, ever since his portal ability evolved and manifest, whatever. His father's been like 
on top of him because that's his study and his research. It's what he's been doing for the past couple of years and whatever in his life and whatever. So he's been using Robert, uh, like scanning him, trying to figure out what kind of energy source he's using, how his ability is working and stuff and whatever. So his father really leaned towards Robert more than his other kids. Did I explain how many kids there are? I don't know. Well, if I didn't, well, there's... The first... He has five... Not five. Four kids. The first two... The first and second born are both girls. And then the third and fourth born are both boys. Robert is the youngest. So he's the fourth born. And he's the one with this ability. He's the only one with superpowers in this family. Except for his mother, who has, I forgot what ability I gave her. So, whatever. I know she has a superpower, I forgot what. Anyways. Um, oh yeah, that's right. She has the ability to, like, sense when people are lying or hiding secrets and whatever. <clears throat> so she can tell what's the truth and what's not. And if they're, like, nervous and whatever, it's just... Pretty much, she can monitor people's bodies, and that's how she can tell when a person's lying or not, or if they're in danger and whatever. And she's been working with her husband to monitor Robert's mental ability and physical and whatever well-being and stuff. So both the parents has been spending more time with Robert the later, the longer he was grown up and whatever. So the kids. His Robert's siblings grew jealous of him and started being mean to him and yada yada, brotherly sister rivalry and stuff like that. Once Robert reached the age of nine, he accidentally opened a portal to another dimension. So at the age of nine, he figured out that if he placed a portal on a spot, he can, and then like walked away and drove like let's say in a, a three miles away, and then went into a building. He can mark the one of the spots in that building to open and connect to the one that he already marked. So he had at the age of, I think it was ten. Did I say ten or nine? I think I said nine. Whatever, age of nine, I'm just going to stick with nine. Forget what I said earlier unless it's nine. Anyways, he has this, he's learned this ability that he called marking, where he can mark a spot and then he can leave, go somewhere far away or whatever, and then connect to that marked spot that he previous marked and whatever and go there. Well, one of the times, he's like obviously linked it to like, the kitchen and bathroom and stuff. He marked a bunch of spots and he could just somewhat sense the different wave energy patterns, whatever. He just calls it, like, he just knows exactly what it is and it's just kind of a thought process for him. He just thinks about the part that he marked and he teleports there. Well, as he was about to, one night he was about to go to the restroom but instead of opening a portal to the restroom he opened a portal to another world which freaked him out and he quickly closed it and then tried to open again to the restroom again to another dimension and he closed it again guys went walked to the restroom did his business went and got his dad and started explaining stuff and his dad ran some tests and yeah, at the age of nine, Robert had the ability to open a hole to other worlds, and the hole sizes were six foot by five foot oval, circle, hole, whatever. <clears throat> and he started to figure out how to get the whole opening portals to another dimension under control. And yeah, um, I need to wrap this up. Anyways, so I've, 
at this point in time, he, like, started, his father started meddling and, like, getting huge hypotheses and theories and stuff, and changed the site from, so his whole goal was just to, like, make traveling quicker and easier, and if he could, by some means, just have it where we could no longer use planes or cars that would cut off on whatever fossil fuels and stuff like that and whatever and bring down like help the world a major lot and if we started using teleportations we could just open portals to just our set destinations walk through and whatever and then everybody would be walking pretty much and it would cause them to be more healthy than driving and whatever. Anyways, that was his goal. But because his son, Robert, awakened with the ability to open portals to another dimensions, he started to turn his sights more to um, resources and stuff. If he could find a dimension with a bunch of resources or get to a dimension with higher intelligence and stuff, then he could like learn more and pretty much gain more knowledge and help humanity even more. So, yeah. His father forbid him from opening the portal and going through. They ran some tests. It's completely safe for a person to travel between the portal from one dimension to another. Um, they started to see if um, viruses or bacteria could go through. Um, there seems to be, when the portal opens, uh, energy pretty much that vaporizes all forms of bacteria and whatever and insulation. So it's pretty much like um, a sealed off area. So if he was to open a portal on the wall, like a pretty much a wall, and then open a portal to the moon, the vacuum of space wouldn't suck the air out because there's this barrier dividing them. So that's probably the best way to explain it. So yeah, if he was to open a portal to the bottom of the ocean floor and then hooked it to the ceiling, water won't pour in. People can pass through and fish could and rocks. But the water itself would not pass through and start pouring in. It's kind of weird and hard to explain, but yeah, whatever. And I don't know if it's scientific or not, but hey, superpowers aren't supposed to make sense. Like, how do you explain Superman? Anyways, yeah, I'm cutting this now because I'm way past my time. So, anyways, I'm trying to make this short a short video. So, yeah, at the age of, did I say 10 or 9? Whatever age I said earlier, that's when he opened portals to other dimensions. Later on, he figured out how to open portals to other dimensions and how to just open regular portals to link to certain areas. And he had also, he also gained the ability to open multiple portals. So not multiple portals going the same, linked up the same way. So yeah, he could do that, but more like he placed two portals down, have those two portals link, and then he could place two more portals down in a different location and have them be linked to the whatever. So he could link multiple portals and the max he could do was four at a time. Anyways, yeah, next video, I'm going to actually get into his whole backstory. This is just pretty much explain, explaining his superpowers and some parts of his life. Anyways, bubs out. Um, hold on, no, wait. Uh, yeah, pretty much bubs out.